We are here today at the NATO Summit. Today is May 20th and you're watching Inside Out News. I today am giving back my Global War on Terrorism Service Medal because I realized that after a while that it was just nothing but an idea made by a bunch of politicians, money-hungry politicians in Washington who will do nothing and have a complete disregard for human life and will do anything in their power to just make more money in the end. Now if it's just an idea, then therefore it was just an idea that sparked two wars that I had to fight in. And I don't want any part of it anymore. And I choose human life over war, militarism, and imperialism. Been following the protest protesters all day today. They started at Grant Park and marched down to the end of the park, about two miles down over to the Hyatt where the NATO summit is being held, where President Obama and other world leaders were at today. The, there was at least, we'd say, about 10,000 protesters, maybe more than that. We haven't heard a number yet. That's an estimate that we are giving. It was very difficult to tell how many protesters were in the march. They marched here from Grand Park, just up this way, marched all the way down. It was a very peaceful march. They arrived over by the hotel where the NATO summit is, and they were met by a lot of police, police on horses. There they had the ceremony where the Iraq where the war veterans and uh, veterans of NATO wars were there. They t threw their medals away. Scott Olson, the Iraq war veteran who was uh, injured at Occupy Oakland, suffered a concussion. He was there. He also threw his medals away. After that, at the end of that, the, the protesters began leaving very peacefully. And within about 15 minutes, the police moved in in serious heavy riot gear. They moved in and began corralling the protesters in the intersection there on Michigan. And there, that was when things turned ugly. Many of the protesters who were trapped inside the intersection were beaten. Uh, it's been reported by Chicagoists that some lost their teeth. Many are in the hospital, suffering concussions, battered, bruised. We saw a protester being carried out on a stretcher. He was covered in gauze and bleeding. So we can confirm that there was serious violence going on there against the protesters. It's being reported on some of the mainstream media that the protesters that were inciting, that black bloc was inciting the violence. We were there at the intersection. We saw the protesters leaving peacefully. They did not incite violence. It was completely incited by the police department, by the Chicago police. From that moment, they began ordering dispersal orders for protesters to leave. It was difficult to hear what they were saying. They did not give a time limit. They pushed protesters out and continued to arrest them along the way. His name is John, Jonathan Ziegler, yeah. And he's a, it's his uh, his stream is um, revolutionary underscore Z. That's his Twitter. Revolution. Okay. Revolution. Rebel. Revolutionary underscore Z. So please tweet it out. He's he's under arrest. And so fucked up. I know. Really I didn't that. know. After that, protesters were moved out and they dispersed into the streets. They eventually met back here at Grand Park once again. Uh, just south, just a bit south from here, I believe, and then they they were having a GA. It was the occupiers, and they decided spontaneously to march. We happened to be coming up the, the street, and we ran into them, and we joined them, and we followed them, and we are here now. We've been following them throughout the city of Chicago. It is now 924. We've been following them for the plus couple of hours. There was a moment where we were under a, a train overpass and we thought for sure that we were all about to be arrested, perhaps suffering the same fate as the protesters who were taken in earlier today in the day protest. However, the occupiers managed to split up and leave the area and they've now met up here at the Chicago Institute of Art where they've gathered. They have not moved from here. They've been here for maybe a half hour now. As you can see, there's police all behind me here. The police have been following the protesters all around the city. There has been a, probably 500 to 1,000 protesters who have come out onto the street. Not all of them who, came, who were at the GA. They came, they found each other, and they regrouped. 
It's a question of what's going to happen next. We don't know. But we'd like to play a few clips of interviews that we conducted earlier today before the march for you so you can get an idea of the mood and the atmosphere leading up to this uh, momentous occasion where all these protesters from various organizations gathered today to protest unanimously against the NATO summit. And you were the person who was hit or run over by a police van last night and they also arrested you afterward? They had arrest they arrested you afterward as well? Could you tell us a little bit about what happened? Sure, um, we were by the Federal Trade Building um, on LaSalle and Jackson and um, there was a police van running through the crowd plowing through protesters and I figured it was just them trying to get through and they had a line of vehicles they were going to push through but it was just one vehicle plowing through protesters. I saw one of my fellow comrades from New York, he had his back turned to the van and he was about to get hit so I went to grab him and the second I stepped in front of the van they stomped on the gas and accelerated and smashed into me. I went flying, hit my head on the concrete and went unconscious. Um, I woke up in the ambulance um, with my girlfriend Lauren, who's also from Occupy Wall Street, and a few paramedics, a fire department officer and a police officer. Um, we got to the hospital and about, after about half an hour being in the hospital, an FBI agent and six uh, police officers, some of them in riot gear, walked into my room, put cuffs on me and cuffed me to my bed and told me that I was being or charged with assault on a police officer, that I had assaulted a police officer earlier that day, which was absolutely not true. Um, they then, for the next three hours, tried to interrogate me. Every time I told them I wanted a lawyer, they'd leave and come back in five minutes and try to ask me more questions, and I kept telling them I want a lawyer. Um, I asked my nurses to get me food and water. When they came with the water, the police officers took it and threw it away. They denied me food and water the whole time I was in the hospital. Um, upon my release, I figured I was going to go to jail. The cops came in, um, told me that I wasn't going to be charged anymore. I was being released or whatever, you know, so that's false arrest right there and, you know, holding me without reason and all that nonsense. They told me, though, they, they weren't going to uncuff me till I made a statement about what happened with the police van. Now, I knew that they wanted me to make a statement to cover their own asses and try to get me to incriminate myself when I try to uh, file a lawsuit against them and shove a boot up their ass. Um, so I told them, no, I'm not going to do it. And for 20 minutes, they held me cuffed to the bed as they told me I could go until I made a statement. So I told them my statement was, I was hit by a police vehicle. Thank you. Have a good day. And, uh, you know, this is a criminal war of empire. Uh, and what, what makes this a criminal war of empire? Because the objective of this war is dominating and controlling the Middle East and Central Asia. That's the objective. It isn't liberating the Afghan people. It isn't eliminating terror. It isn't making life better. It's made things worse. And it's also fueled reactionary Islamic fundamentalism. And Hiding behind terrorism huge crimes are being done by the U.S. and the NATO countries, including the, the political suppression and, and the criminalization of this protest here today. People were seized in their home this week in Chicago, people from around the country. Eight or nine people were arrested. Three people are being held um, on conspiracy to provide material support to terrorism. And we have absolute reason to believe these people were entrapped and set up by the government. Quite a bit with the Occupy movements across the country. Have you participated in any of the, the, the actions, particular with the Occupy movement? Yes, a lot. We, I'm from New York City, and we have members that have been down there. Well, you know, they're not so much at Zuccotti Park anymore. You know, the Occupy, but we we try to anything they have, we support. We're there for them and with them. You know, we support these kids. We talk to them about war and, you know, things like, because a lot of them are curious. They don't know, you know, about stuff like that. But we, we support Occupy on a lot of things. There are some anarchists who we do not support, you know, but most of them are just good people. Hi, can we ask you how you guys are preparing for today's march? You don't Sorry. speak much? No. Do any of you guys speak? Not the press. Oh, but we're a nice group of press members. Uh -huh. that's, that's a good one. Is it? Why do you think that? Well, we'd like to know. Okay, let's ask another guy. This is going to be good. So are you also part of this group? Uh, no comment. 
And and why is that? Why is that? Uh, no comment. I really don't want to talk. Uh, are you part of the black? Are you part of the black block? Uh, I said no comment. I really don't want to talk. I'm sorry. Are you also part of this group? No, I'm not really part of the group. I'm just walking around. Oh, so uh, why are you at the protest thing? I know. I don't really want to talk to you after you're kind of rude to him. So. Oh well, I just I've been asking everyone and nobody seems to want to talk. So I'm well, just no trying to talk. ask. No one wants to. If no one wants to talk, no one wants to talk. You can't really force them. But why come to a public event and to a public protest? And not get your message out as to why you're here. Obviously, you're protesting something. Well, the protest so hasn't started, so we'll get our message out eventually. But and and how yeah. how will you do that? Take it to the streets. You know. mm -hmm. Have a good day. All right. Well, there you go. The infamous black block. We're gonna return now to the protest here, and hopefully uh, we will tie in whatever happens next. But perhaps it will die down. But we unfortunately will be having to catch a flight back to Los Angeles. Uh, but we hope that we've been able to add a little bit to the discourse here. I'm Margot Pai, as once again reporting for Insight Out News. Goodbye.